This video is different from most of what you know from me. It is not about a vehicle, not an update or a test. It is about a decision. For those who just want a quick answer, Electrified Speicher will not continue in its current form. If you want to understand why and what this means to you and for me, well, stay with me. Because this decision is not spontaneous. It is the result of a long deliberate process. A year in which I consciously examined whether this project could be continued professionally, cleanly and honestly. Today, the answer is clear. Not out of frustration, not out of fatigue, but out of consequence. In this video, I explain what led to this decision, what Speicher Elektrisiert Elektrified Speicher was and what will remain. Speicher Elektrisiert was created because something was missing. Not another test video, but orientation. When I started Electrified Speicher, electric mobility was abstract for many, technically complex, emotionally charged and often poorly explained. From the beginning, my focus was on the user perspective, on everyday life, not brochures, on context, not opinion. I deliberately concentrated on a niche, Skoda MEB platform real world usage, not because it was small, but because depth could be built here. Over the years, a large, very specific community emerged. Across both channels, more than 40,000 subscribers, around 400,000 views per month, viewers from all over Europe, but also from countries like New Zealand or Australia, and more than 300 videos. And every month, hundreds of emails from people who wanted to understand how electric mobility really works in everyday life. What carries this project was not reach, but the trust of people like you. People who wrote me, finally, I understand the vehicle better. Thank you for not just testing, but for explaining. And you helped me decide on the right vehicle. This was never entertainment. This was orientation. My standard was always the same. Explain clearly, assess honestly, neither sugarcoat nor dramatize. Criticism when necessary, recognition when deserved. Electrified Speicher was never meant to be a show. It was a work platform for understanding, for exchange, and for the perspective of the people who ultimately sit in the car and drive it. Everything began back in 2021 when the ENIAC IV hit the market. It was the starting point for what Electrified Speicher is today. A vehicle that marked the entry into electric mobility for many and left many questions unanswered. Over the years, uh, I accompanied the ENIAC intensively. No topic was too small, no question too specific. That was the claim, death over shortcuts. At the end of 2024, the LROC became a second central model. It noticeably changed the content. The LROC was particularly relevant for many private customers. It broadened the community and shifted the audience. At first, it was mainly technical analysts, people who wanted to understand every detail. Over time, more and more joined who wanted to discover electric mobility without wading through data sheets. This development was not coincidence. It matches exactly how I build the content. Electrified Speicher was always intended as a content funnel, entry through everyday questions. Build on that functional logic, practical evaluations, connections between technology and usage. And for those who wanted to go deeper, technical analysis, software logic, system limits. This principle allowed you to dive as deep as you wanted, without pressure, but without shortcuts as well. A good example is my e-guide, a format designed not for clicks, but for understanding. Because users don't just want to know what a car can do, but how to use it in everyday life. This wasn't just a video series, it was a tool for decisions. Looking back, I also realized that I have comprehensively addressed all relevant questions about the ENIAC and LROC over the years, all on real usage and product cycles. This is the result of consistent work in a clearly defined niche. And this is where a structural problem arises. And it has nothing to do with motivation or ideas, but with time and products. The next new models are far in the future. The Epic and Space won't arrive for at least six, nine or even 12 months. Facelifts for the ENIAC and LROC are expected even later. 
In between, there's a long phase without new vehicles, without new product impulses, without new anchors for in-depth analysis. For a project that relies on context, usage and product logic, this is a real gap, not a theoretical one. I examined this phase closely. What content would be possible? What formats could be built and where the limits lie? The challenges lies in the niche itself, however. Electrified Speicher works because the focus is clear, Skoda electric cars. Expanding to other MEB models within the group would have been logical and thematically consistent, but it was not a realistically feasible option. Leaving this niche for all electric models would have meant trading depth for arbitrariness, becoming interchangeable. It would have diluted the core of Electrified Speicher without adding real value. And it is this core that has carried Electrified Speicher. The gap cannot be closed without fundamentally changing the character of this project. And this gap has relevant economic consequences as well. A project like Electrified Speicher was never a side project. At the beginning of 2025, I quit my job and focused entirely on it. Not out of recklessness or a whim, but based on a clear business model. At that time, Electrified Speicher had stable reach, recurrent revenue and an active community. The economic logic was understandable and sustainable under the conditions at that time. The decision to focus entirely on this project was a rational entrepreneurial one. The business model was clearly structured. Revenue from platform advertising, affiliate marketing and direct support from the community. At this point, I wanted to explicitly thank you. Because without your support, I would have never come this far. So thank you very much. Sponsorship, on the other hand, was difficult. Not due to the lack of interest, but because of the clear focus. Electrified Speicher was never an advertising channel, but a space for orientation and thus closely associated with Skoda in the perception. In 2025, I consciously examined whether this model could be expanded and stabilized. It was clear from the start, if the content output decreases, a project of this size needs another economic pillar. Without this addition, the dependency on continuous content remains. And if this foundation is lost, a project of this size cannot be responsibly continued. So I explored various options. There were discussions, objective, professional and with mutual respect. In the end, however, no model emerged that would have been sustainable in the long term under these conditions and at the same time preserve the character of Electrified Speicher. This is not a question of people, but of structures, roles and expectations. This chapter ends with mutual recognition for the work done. So that you understand that this decision does not come from frustration or disappointment, but from consequence and mutual respect, I will now hand over to Klaus Zelmer, CEO of Skoda Auto. His statement shows what this channel, what my project was really about and why this step is the right one. Lieber Matthias, du hast die Entwicklung und den Markteintritt unserer vollelektrischen Modelle über viele Jahre aufmerksam begleitet. Kritisch engagiert und mit einem echten Interesse an der Sache. Mit deinen Beiträgen in den sozialen Medien hast du vielen Menschen die Marke Skoda und unsere elektrischen Fahrzeuge näher gebracht. Was mich dabei immer beeindruckt hat, du hast die Perspektive der Kunden nie aus den Augen verloren. Ganz gleich, ob es um langjährige Skoda-Fahrer ging oder um Menschen, die sich erst jetzt für ein Elektrofahrzeug interessiert haben. Du wolltest Wissen teilen, aufklären und Diskussionen anstoßen. Es ging dir nie um Befindlichkeiten, sondern um die, die tatsächlich hinter dem Steuer eines elektrischen Skoda sitzen. Und dabei warst du immer fair und ehrlich. Besonders schätze ich, dass du zugehört hast und auch unseren Standpunkt respektiert hast. Natürlich lief es nicht immer reibungslos. Kritik gehört dazu und ja, sie kann manchmal auch wehtun. Aber sie hat uns weitergebracht. Wir haben gemeinsam nach Lösungen gesucht und du hast verstanden, dass wir es ernst meinen, wenn wir sagen, wir wollen besser werden. Diese Haltung passt perfekt zu dem, was unsere Gründer Václav Laurin und Václav Klement schon vor über 100 Jahren formuliert haben. Nur das Beste ist gut genug für unsere Kunden. Dieser Leitsatz 
ist bis heute unser Maßstab und er zeigt sich in den vielen praktischen Simply Clever Lösungen, die unsere Fahrzeuge auszeichnen. Bei genau dieser Mission, das Beste für unsere Kunden zu erreichen, hast du uns geholfen, Matthias. Diese Balance zwischen Kundenperspektive und unserer Rolle als Hersteller, das ist es, was deine Arbeit auszeichnet. Und natürlich dein authentisches Interesse an der E-Mobilität. Die Zukunft ist elektrisch und sie hat längst begonnen. Ich habe unsere Gespräche immer sehr geschätzt. Auch wenn du uns gefordert hast. Das war gut so. Denn hinter deinen Fragen und Kritikpunkten standen die Stimmen vieler Skoda-Fahrerinnen und Fahrer. Du hast uns geholfen, besser zu werden. Und genau das ist es, was wir als Skoda Auto immer anstreben. Ich bin gespannt, was die Zukunft für dich bereithält. Und ich wünsche dir alles Gute, Matthias. Electrified Speicher was and is my professional foundation. That's exactly why I am not ending this chapter abruptly. The content will remain online. At the same time, I want to be honest. The likelihood of new content is low. Not because the topics don't matter to me, but because my focus is shifting. I need to build a viable, sustainable model now, professionally and structurally. This is not a retreat, it's a reprioritization. Electrified Speicher is more than a full-time job. Research, test, filming, editing, all in two languages, the whole community work. Continuing all of this in parallel with professional reorientation is not realistic. Not with the quality for which Electrified Speicher is known and appreciated. For you, this means everything created here remains available. Much of the content is still relevant and helpful, but there is no longer a guarantee for new videos. I remain true to my approach, user perspective, clear context and systemic thinking. But I am now choosing the framework in which this work is possible in the long term. Because the challenges remain the same. How do you explain complex systems so that users understand and use them? How do you build trust before marketing begins? This is not a farewell, but a change of perspective. Decisions like this are not comfortable, but they are necessary. I am not standing still. I am moving forward more consistently than ever before. If you want to follow my next steps or are interested in my work on user perspective, product logic and electric mobility, you can find me on LinkedIn and on my website uh, speicher.digital. There it is less about regular videos, um, more about analysis, context and the topics I work on professionally. Finally, I want to say thank you. This project has taken me further, professionally, personally. I have learned a lot in these years about electric mobility, about products, about user behavior, and about how trust is built. My thanks go to many people at Skoda. Engineers, product managers, communication colleagues, people who built good cars, who listened and who met me at eye level because they knew it wasn't about clickbait, but about context. Criticism was part of it, Klaus Selmer also said it, but always with respect and always with the shared goal of getting better. Most importantly, I want to thank you, the viewers, the supporters, and the, also the critics. There are quite moments where I realize what actually emerged here. Up to 400,000 people a month from all over Europe and beyond for just two vehicle models, for technical topics, for content without show, without buzzwords, without staging. You gave me something more valuable than any metric, your attention, and with it, your time, that so many people were willing to invest this time, not just to watch, but to understand, is anything but self-evident. Thank you for giving me this trust. Looking back, one thing is particularly clear to me. I was never a classic content creator or influencer. Electrified Speicher was for me a product and a tool, developed with the same mindset and methods that have shaped my work for many years and the intersection of product strategy, technical analysis, user behavior and communication. And that's why Electrified Speicher probably had more impact in its niche than many classic creator and marketing channels. I don't create content for the sake of reach. I create orientation that builds trust. This is the work I will continue in a different framework with the same attitude. Speicher Elektrisiert, Electrified Speicher does not end. It changes. This chapter closes 
the journey continues. And I look forward to meeting you again on the new path. Stay full of energy.